Hi guys, I'm back and I am going to share a vision like I had mentioned this in my uh, previous videos. This vision is really, really important because it laid, it laid out a very, very um, important message. Very important, not just for me to keep, but for everybody. And this happened this year of 2020 in the month of May. All my dreams and visions, by the way, that I had shared had happened all at once on the month of May and of this year. Since I started, I started to have a dream about that Trace Act 6666 bill that I knew nothing about. Not until I searched into it and that wake me up, that woken me up. And I went deeper in my relationship with God. Not that I I don't have a relationship. I've already had a relationship. But, you know, like, I was just kind of, like, stagnant. No, I wasn't seeking as much as I had to, as much as God wants me to. So I soaked into more in God's presence and, and um, asked Him a lot of questions. Um... Um, yeah, prayed, uh, spent a lot of time praying. So God had revealed me those dreams and visions all at once in the same month. Okay, and this is how it started. When I was at my way to work, it's a long ways to work, and I always listen to Christian music on my way to work, and I worship God at the same time while I'm driving, and I, and I pray. And I was right at that intersection. I reached to that intersection that is close to my work that approximately I am six minutes away to work. If the traffic uh, flows smoothly without any intervention from, from construction and all that stuff. So I am approximately six minutes to work and that intersection is between I-35 West and North 121 at the traffic light. To my right side there is a Farmer's Brothers building and next to it is IHOP and there were billboards um, in the vicinity. Uh, commercial billboards, okay? I don't know what those are. I don't know what's in it. So I just know there are billboards in that vicinity. Okay, and I happened to, while worshiping God and you know, there in the car, uh, I happened to just look into my right and I saw a bu billboard. In between this billboard these billboards that are in there so I I happen to um, see this billboard and it's all white from from bottom to top the pole was white and all the way to the top was white it's pure white and there was a picture of a broken heart you guys a broken heart and then there were writings down below it and the pictures and the writings were all colored red okay and it is a soft red color. It's not an, an angry, it's not a deep, dark red. It's a soft red. And it has a picture of a broken heart. And it was just not a broken heart, but looks like a devastated heart that it was like ripped open. It was ripped open. Like on the left side of that broken heart got tilted this way, like this, like that almost down like this, but like this, okay? It was tilting to the side, and then the other heart was just right there. The other part of the heart, the broken heart was like this, just standing straight, okay? And there were writings, but there were like, had uh, smudges of white paint or something. I just couldn't read it. I have to squint my eyes and look at it. It's just hard for me to read. I believe God just not meant for me to know that what's what was in it. So, but the to the very last of the sentence, those words was still smudgy, but I happened to um I happened to read it. I believe that God just allowed me to read that part, that part, but the whole sentence it was just no way I could read it. It says God loves us so. It was still smudgy on the very end of the sentence, but um, I could I could read it. It says God loves us so. Okay, and and I have to look at the road because I was driving and the traffic already starts moving. I have to look at it again. I looked at that billboard again. It wasn't there. It was gone. 
it disappeared. I had to linger back. It wasn't there. It disappeared. And then I started crying. I started um, having this kind of intense emotions and, and I was shaking. And while I, I was in that moment of um, all that emotions, these messages got downloaded into me saying i am coming i am um i am 6 minutes away from my coming and i am coming with a broken heart because only very few are going to be saved and then i started crying and crying i believe that um um God was talking about the rapture when he comes back. Only very few are going to be saved because people is not aware. People, people are not ready. And even his own remnants are not ready. Okay, his own church, his own people, the believers are not ready. So only very few are going to be saved. And I started crying. I, I felt like the heart of God. I felt like the sadness in there. Like just, I couldn't understand the emotions. I started shaking. And... Um, I understood that red color of the heart and the writings were kind of kind of soft, kind of not not dark, deep red. It was like God was showing His emotions. Those the signs of what the color looks like was showing the vulnerability of God's emotion, the soft side of His heart that was broken. Okay, because only very few are going to be saved when He comes back for the rapture. And I believe the six minutes away that he said is not literally our time, his time. I don't know. That could be just uh, six months. He was probably talking about six months if you count from January up to this month. So this is the exact six months we are now. We are in now the month of June. I don't know. I don't believe God was talking about six years. It could be. I'm not God, you know. God was just downloading me those uh, messages and I was just filled with with uh, um, awesomeness. I don't know, um, not awesome. I'm just filled with so much emotions. Yeah, awesomeness of God, you know, like thankful and grateful. Just, just, I don't, I don't understand. It was just beautiful, but, but scary. Like I said in my previous video, this vision was so beautiful. Um, I was so, so thankful and grateful that God showed me this vision, but it was so scary at the same time. The message that God had downloaded to me is scary, you guys. You guys, you have to be prepared. I believe, you know, we don't know what, when, you don't, you know, you don't want to be shocked that, oh, I am left behind, you know, because you weren't ready. We have to be ready every single day, every single day. We have to entangle our lives from the, activities out there from the world okay oh i could not stress this enough but this is the most vision of uh, most intense vision that god had given me i could not remember um so far what are other those uh, visions he had given me this intense okay it's not it's not as intense as this <sighs> Yeah, he said, I am six minutes away from my coming. Anyway, um, then I had to hold myself together because I was driving and told myself, hey, you got to make sure this is from God or if it's not from God, because it could be a man-made sign out there and this, this sign is existing. So I had to, I have to hold myself together and say, I'm going to look at it again on my way back home. But it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. So I said, okay. Because it was on the other side, I said, okay, when I go back again to work the following uh, afternoon, then I will look at it. I was at the same spot the uh, following day. It wasn't there. This billboard sign is non-existing. That's why it left. That's why it disappeared all of a sudden after I stared at it for at least six seconds. It disappeared because it's not there. It's This billboard is non-existing. So that made me confirm that was definitely absolutely a thousand percent from God. So uh, I don't have, I didn't have any of that emotion after I confirmed it, that it wasn't there. But, you know, that message is just not for me. That message is that 
It's just not for me. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here sharing that vision because this is very important, very important, very imminent, very, very urgent, I would say. Because so we, we can all be prepared. All that matters is we are prepared when it comes back for the rapture. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but I will make another video again for another dream. Like I said, after that COVID, uh, that HR 6666 Trace Act bail that I dreamt this month of May, that was my awakening because I never knew about it, never knew about it. That's when I started really dig deep into the pre the presence of God and ask a lot of questions and showed me dreams and visions and this dream is one of it and this is a bit long this is a bit long so I have to write it down and bear with me that when I make this that video for that dream um it I'll be I will be reading it so bear with me on that and I hope you guys are ready we have to be ready at all times every single day on fire for God, for God only. Sold out ourselves for the Lord only. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. I love you all. Bye.